insane species. What type of race are we as humans when for the past hundred years, a little more than a hundred years, we've been completely insane with two world wars and complete destruction of countries and civilizations. We are jealous of the people we love. We are envious of other people. We allow negative thoughts to permeate our minds. We create indoctrination camps for children to go to. And if you don't think they're an indoctrination camp, you really should think about it. They're designed very much like a prison, and I'm talking about elementary, junior, and high schools. They're set up exactly like a prison. Everything that we do seems to be totally backwards and totally anti everything that is natural and right is for the most part, we do the opposite. Everything, all that we do, all of the pollution, all of the self-destruction, all of the lack of inner work, the lack of love and respect and compassion, understanding, Being brainwashed into thinking one party or the other is our savior. All of these lacks, all of these things that we do not consciously think about for the most part. Most people don't. We could instantly change overnight, instantly. This whole world could be instantly better in a blink of an eye if everybody decided I am happy if that person is successful, so long as he's not doing anything to harm or tread on the rights of anyone else. I am happy that that couple over there is in love. I am happy that I am in love. I am happy about my own set of circumstances. I am happy to know that I live in a world that would allow me to be free to pursue whatever endeavors that I have a passion about or that I feel that can be a benefit to humanity that allowed my level of existence in this realm of reality that we have to navigate through if it made it better. If we said we're not going to listen to politicians and these artificial borders and restrictions on travel and restrictions on freedom, Just ignore them. The extortion that is forced upon all of us, the government being the largest mafia, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is just a funny thing to say because it's so true. Comedy is the truth in many cases. That's why it's funny. So, the point of the video is to say that we are insane and we don't have to be. It just takes a little work. It takes a little reflection. It just takes a little bit of looking at ourselves. And there are a lot of different tools and methods on how to do that. There are a lot of great Zen masters and there's a lot of wonderful philosophers, a lot of different political constructs, a lot of different methods on teaching children, thousands of solutions on making the earth more livable, making it healthier, making it less polluted, all things that are easily within our grasp. But we have gone into this cycle of insanity over and over and over, believing that there's going to be some kind of political savior. There's going to be some type of guru or something that is going to save the day. When in fact, we are all the guru. All the answers are inside of us. 
All we have to do is come together, create communities, create different groups that come together to find solutions. They're all here. We do not need war. We do not need restrictions on our freedoms. And that can be defined in different ways for different people. And that's why it takes open and honest debate and understanding with no uh, agenda on, oh, I have to be right. Oh, you are wrong. We have to learn how to handle our own relationships with ourselves and then with others so that we can expand into the broader humanity so that we can have reasonable conversations, so that we can have reasonable solutions, so that we can actually create and do things that are better for ourselves, for our planets, for the people that we love. Uh, it's just sad to me sometimes that I see the potential and the opportunity uh, going right through our fingertips. But I am optimistic because I see so many people waking up. I see so many people uh, starting to understand that something's very wrong, which makes me think that we will shift the insanity. We will start to realize when we look in the mirrors that, hey, we don't have to live like this. We can respect each other. We can do things that are a benefit to ourselves and the uh, broader marketplace that we may offer good products or services to other people that we can exchange uh, without so many regulations. So many people believe that we have to have uh, regulations for everything. And uh, some things maybe, most things not. Most things not. I'll give a brief example of that. Uh, you only have so many different taxi licenses, so many different limo licenses in all these different cities. So if you want to just buy a car and go drive people around and get paid for it, um, you couldn't do that before. Now Uber and Lyft and some of these services have started to change that. And that is a good example of how things can change with some disruptive activity. But to have a license to sell flowers, to have a license to do just about anything you can think of that is nothing except a tax. It's an extortion racket. You either pay this or you can't do it. They never check on you or regulate you. I know because I've owned a myriad of different businesses and that is what I have found. We are going through a transition phase right now in this country and around the world. And I'm happy that a lot of people are waking up. I'm happy that a lot of you join us in these conversations. And I'm thankful that more and more people are coming out on Sundays at 1.30 to join our conversation and to talk about subjects that are meaningful and that often go undiscussed in this country and around the world. And they are valuable to each of us. So all of you local people within, you know, about an hour drive from here, I really would ask you to come out and, and join us and bring your solutions to the table for the inner work and to find inner peace and to understand what it is to live in the now and to be in the present and to focus on our collective goals to make ourselves in this place that we live much better because it takes many of us to get into the conversation. So thank y'all. I appreciate y'all joining us. Uh, our numbers on Sundays have been growing, so I'm thankful for that. Our viewership has been up, so thank you for that. It gives me uh, hope that the subjects that we are talking about have some resonance to some people. So I appreciate that. And pay attention uh, for our announcements because once a month we're having a special event uh, here at our sanctuary, our organic farm, which is uh, all sorts of fun things. July the 3rd, that Sunday, we're going to have a theatrical performance on the founding documents of our 
country, whatever you want to read or experience with us. I like to personally read the Declaration of Independence every July 4th. So this year will be July 3rd because it falls on that Sunday before. And y'all are welcome to come out and join us. It's really a lot of fun. And the following month, stay tuned because we'll have another really fun adventure. I think we're going to have the next month, uh, bring your own bag. You can pick uh, our peaches, apples, all the uh, fruit tree orchard, just a whole bunch of fun for the family and kids and uh, get a healthy organic food. Uh, and we'll make that announcement, uh, but that is what's going to happen the following uh, month in uh, August. Thank you all. Let's not allow humanity to sink further into insanity. Let's all look inside of ourselves. Let's do and be more. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.